Hello, and welcome back to the Islander Chamber Music Channel. My name is Ian Harmon, and I am the horn player for the Islander Winds. Today I'm going to be talking about ledger lines and giving you a few tips and tricks on how to read them a little easier. As you can see here, I have a staff with a treble clef, and I have three ledger lines above and below the treble clef. So, by using our uh, musical alphabet, we can infer that this is F, A, C, and E. However, the alphabet repeats itself as it looks as A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And then it repeats back to A, B, C, D, E, F, G again, right? So, if we were to start on F instead, we could go up to, from this F to this F, and we could count up, say, if we had a line on, or a note on this ledger line. We could say, well, I know that this is F, and we could go G, A, B, C. But that takes a little bit too long to read, in my opinion. So we can skip, like we do on the lines and spaces. So I could say F, A, know that it is C. And that saves you a little bit of time. And if we were to go down, it would be the same thing. So F, say we had um, this note right here. We could go down and say F, E, D, C, B, A. But we know that from down from F, this is C, A, F. So we could go F, C, A. Make sense? I would like to perform a little bit of flashcard practice for you to help you learn the ledger lines a little bit easier. It is also important to recognize that the staff doesn't naturally have ledger lines unless there are notes written on those ledger lines. The next step in our flashcards will be to recognize them without writing out the other ledger lines above and below it. If you're looking for more practice, musictheory.net has many lessons and exercises to help you learn how to read music more fluently. Thanks for watching the Islander Music Channel. My name is Ian Harmon. Have a nice day.